Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us here or online. WREG.com slash weather is our website address. Let me back the camera out for those of you who are watching on Twitter and Periscope live this morning. If you've never been here before, here's a setup for you. Most of the activity going on in this large area of the screen here. Current conditions in this location here right now category showing 59 degrees winds northeast at 6 and a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms more showers and thunderstorms in your forecast here for today highs back in the lower to mid 60s haven't seen those numbers in quite some time and your forecast for tonight down here lower 50s for the metro area even some mid to upper 40s as we get into later on this afternoon this evening overnight tonight could be looking at some very cool numbers out there we have not seen for a while and may in fact not see again until fall sets in. We could be looking at this maybe being the last of the really cool spate of days that we see out there. We will see chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the day. The whole weekend does not look to be a washout at this time, so definitely good news on that. But for the next several hours, again, the three-hour forecast is going to be showing, again, temperatures back into about the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s, kind of wobbling back and forth on that. Winds will be turning to the northwest as some cooler air makes its way on through. We could be looking again at the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms helping to kind of cool the temperatures off across much of the Mid-South area. So if you have any plans for outdoors, definitely want to think about taking the umbrella with you just to be on the safe side as we will see those possibilities of showers and thunderstorms continue right on in throughout the course of the rest of the day. So this is where we again see uh, the possibility for being outdoors. We want to watch that with those possibilities of lightning out there. Remember if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are with in range of getting struck by that thunderstorm so play it safe stop the yard work get the kids back out of the yard or whatever they're doing outside inside of a sturdy house or building wherever you are just to make certain you're protected and well away from windows from any possible lightning strike. It may seem like a silly catchphrase, but it might save your life. When thunder roars, go indoors. It's a very simple thing and it could save your life. So think about that the next time you're out there with a thunderstorm wandering on through. Sunrise from Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Purchase knob showing a little bit of fog down in the valley. More information from the National Park Service at nps.gov or follow the hashtag findyourpark on Twitter for more there. A lot of clouds at Rhodes College in Memphis. A little bit of some cloudy skies out there. Breaking the clouds up a little bit and not immediate amounts of rainfall. Don't see any speckles of rain on the camera lens, but there will be more chances out there. Germantown looking back toward East Memphis, over there toward the towers of I-240 and Poplar in that area. 59 degrees and just shy of about an inch of rainfall in the rain gauge throughout the early portion of the day today. So continuing to see some fairly uh, breezy winds out there as well. So please keep that in mind throughout the rest of the day. Rest of what we're looking for for this morning. Again, temperatures will be decently cool out there, especially ahead of this front that is sinking its way on down to the south and to the east. And as that makes its way all the way on down into northeastern parts of Mississippi, northwest Alabama, that's where we see the best possibility of showers and thunderstorms. Now, we should be getting an update on the severe weather threat from the Storm Prediction Center coming up here in just a little bit. We'll talk more about that. But as of right now, throughout the rest of the afternoon, again, stray showers and thunderstorms possible in various parts of the area, right back along the Tennessee River. That's where we're going to be seeing a lot there, uh, back into Middle Tennessee and Northern Alabama. So if you have plans for outdoors, we've got Earth Day going on today. Likewise, we've got the March for Science going on in numerous communities across the United States. Here in the Mid-South, again, I think those should be able to go off without a hitch, but please make certain you've got something to protect yourself from the rain should it become absolutely necessary because that will be going on out there as well. Meteorology, a big part of science, so make certain you pay attention to that branch of science if you're going to be heading out the door for the March for Science today. Later this evening, around sunset, we see the possibility of showers dwindling by just a little bit, maybe not by much, and then by about News Channel 3 at 10 through about midnight. Overnight tonight, we see those possibilities of showers into parts of the area dropping on down and continuing off and on right on in through daybreak. Then we start getting some very nice conditions of some cooler air making its way into the Mid-South area. As that happens, we get the rain heading back to the east of us and most of the Mid-South should be looking at some sunshine out there, lingering clouds possible, but most of the area should be looking at very pleasant numbers. Again, 
you look at these numbers here, back in the mid to upper 60s, that is well below normal for where we should be for this time of the year, so quite pleasant on that. And numbers also looking good into tomorrow night. Fairly cool as the kids head for the school bus stop early Monday morning, or you head out for that stroll or jog out across the Mid-South early as well. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Again, with the threat for severe weather, this information comes courtesy of the Storm Prediction Center in the Mid-South, or in the area around Norman, Oklahoma. For the Mid-South, the main threat appears to be, again, northeastern areas of Mississippi, southwest Tennessee in the yellow-shaded category. That is a slight risk category. The bright green indicates where we're seeing the possibility of a marginal, a lesser threat for severe weather, but still possible. So we'll see what happens. Now, this forecast that you see on screen here was made right Right after midnight Saturday morning, but uh, hopefully one coming up here. It is about 7:11, about the time that we record this on Saturday morning. We're hopefully going to get an update here within about the next say 45 minutes, and we'll bring that to you live on News Channel 3 Daybreak when we get that information. Threat for tomorrow goes way on off to our east, into around the Carolinas, down toward Georgia and the Gulf Coast states. A marginal threat, that bright green shade that you see there. That's what we're looking at there. Now the threat. For for Monday, we're not going to see too much of anything else across much of the Mid-South area, but as we look back to the west of us, that's where we may see the possibility of, again, some showers and thunderstorms developing and quite possibly becoming severe. That's where we see, again, that potential for, again, stronger thunderstorms coming on through as a new storm system gets a little bit closer to us. This could be our next round of severe weather by about Wednesday or so. We'll be watching that, again, with a lot of interest there. Showers and thunderstorms early, dwindling to just showers as we get into the course of the rest of the day. Showers again early Sunday, mainly pre-dawn hours, but there could be some lingering showers left over by the time we hit about 9 o'clock in the morning. Most of the rest of that activity heads out as we get into the rest of Sunday. Plenty of sunshine towards Sunday evening. Hopefully some good stargazing weather. Monday looks pretty good as well. Back into the mid-70s for highs with plenty of sunshine. Tuesday looks excellent, even warmer with temperatures around 80 degrees. More chances of showers and thunderstorms start to make their way back into the picture on Wednesday evening. Now that's going to be our next best chance of anything involving severe weather here in the mid south area and that lingering chance may continue for around thursday into friday what we're going to be looking for is areas to again saturday into next Sunday. Storm Prediction Center in their latest discussion was saying and the National Weather Service in Memphis looking at maybe the possibility of some stronger weather taking place for both the Wednesday and the next Saturday event. So that's something we're going to be uh, paying very close attention to so stay tuned for more on that. Want to know more about what's going on with the weather? Stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 with our app. It's available at whatever branch you've got of uh, different communications platforms. All you have to do is search WREG Weather for more and download that today. And, of course, tune in for my complete forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend. And keep up to date as to what's going on with my various social media networks, and we'll keep you updated there as well. Email address austin.onic at WREG.com. We'd love to know what you're thinking. If there's something on here that you would like to see, please let us know. It's a great opportunity to learn more about what's going on with weather in the Mid-South. If you want more climate details, if you want to look at weather around the rest of the world, if there's anything else that you would like to see on here, we'd like to know about it, but I can't put anything on here for you until you tell me my psychic powers are not doing too well early in the morning, especially without coffee. So please let me know, austin.onic at wreg.com slash weather or wreg.com slash weather if you want to contact me through the website there. And of course, we'll be on throughout the rest of the weekend on various social media networks. i got to wrap this up. We're running out of time. i got to get out on set for our complete weather segment. And that's going to be coming up in just a moment or two on News Channel 3 Daybreak on until 9 o'clock this morning. So join us on air for the latest forecast and of course join us online throughout the rest of the weekend for more details as well. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, thank you for joining us on News Channel 3 Daybreak for our weather overtime segment. I'm meteorologist Austin Ana. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend for updates on your complete forecast.